Sri Krishnini Srinivasji. Sir, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on the budget. Sir, the budget has laid out a vision of development for the next 25 years with a major emphasis on capital expenditure. The proposed capital expenditure increased by 35% to 7.5 crores, 5 lakh crores compared to last year. This is definitely a praiseworthy step. I have myself been a businessman and an entrepreneur for the last three, three decades and understand the importance of having the right infrastructure and capacities to achieve growth, profitability and development. But the government should also be cognizant of the current situation in the country. The country and especially the poor, downtrodden, marginalized people of the country were reeling under tremendous stress of COVID-19 pandemic. They have suffered unimaginable losses. We cannot begin to understand what they must have endured during the pandemic-induced crisis. It is also difficult to forget the horrors of the migrant crisis during the first lockdown or the health crisis in the second wave. Among these realities, it is saddening to know that the government has neglected the poor and the common man of this country in the budget. Sir, despite efforts to hold back data, it is common knowledge that the consumption expenditure declined for the first time in over four decades, even before the pandemic in 2020. And the pandemic has only worsened the situation. So, heavily relying on supply side measure to boost the recovery of the Indian economy can be counterproductive, at least in short time. The principle of crowding in private investments will hold true only in the context of healthy demand for goods and services from the public. But presently, that is not the case. Further, the capacity utilization in the industry is around 65% as per the RBS capacity utilization survey. Given all this, it is not clear how principle of crowding in will come into picture. I request the Honorable Finance Minister to clarify on this aspect. Sir, I feel stimulus is indeed is needed in terms of physical measures to increase the purchasing capacity of the common man. Physical st stimulus is needed for MSME sector. Relaxation in uh, direct tax structure is needed to put money in the hands of the taxpayers so that they can spend which will help stimulate demand and spur growth. But Honorable FM has thought it otherwise and make, made a courageous bet on prioritizing capex and its consequences will only be known with the delay for, of a year or more. So, sir, in these pre preliminary remarks, and since the time at my disposal is limited, I wish to shift my focus to my state, Andhra Pradesh, and also issues relating to some specific sectors.